puppies are recovering after someone cut off their ears with scissors and then abandoned them. The Chilton County Humane Society is offering a, re a reward for information that leads to the person who did it. Just hours ago, they raised that amount to $2,500. CBS 42 News reporter Brittany Bivens is live in studio with us now to explain how you can help out. Yeah, that's right. They say that this is part of a trend they're seeing. More animal cruelty cases. This is just one of several that this Humane Society has seen recently. The president told me right now about a third of all the animals they take in are victims of some kind of abuse. This is Skeeter and Charming. Found on a rural road, their ears chopped off with scissors. What they have to do is they choke the dogs unconscious. And then when the dogs are unconscious, they take scissors and cut their ears off. And these were three-month-old puppies. They're recovering now, and the Humane Society is offering a reward provided by an anonymous donor to catch the person who did this. It's not the only case of cruelty they've seen this month. <laughs> this is Andrea, and she is one of what we call the bucket babies. There were nine two-day-old puppies that we found on the side of the road. They had been put in a mop bucket and left there to die. Four of the puppies died. The others are in foster homes. It's very, very fun now. I mean, they're moving around, they're growling and barking at each other and all over the place. I mean, they were tiny. I mean, so but the number of abused animals keeps rising, thanks in part to dog fighting rings across Chilton County. It, it really makes you feel very angry, very frustrated. Uh, and, you know, People know, somebody knows who did this. With the limited city and county contributions, the shelter depends on the community to fund rescues, and they need your help, both monetary donations and foster homes. And you save the one that you take out, and you save the one that takes its place. I mean, it's very, very rewarding. Now, you can head over to our website, WIET.com, for more on this story, including how you can turn in your tip on those abused puppies. You can also find their upcoming events to raise money for future rescues like this one. Live in the studio, Brittany Bevan, CBS 42 News.